Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to calculate the weighted average in Microsoft Excel. Um, I'll do this first for schools, and I'll do it for work. So let's assume you have a bunch of assignments, tests, final exams, but they have a different weight to them. So there's your grades that you made, and there are the weights that were assigned by the teacher or the professor. So the easiest way to do this is simply go equals, use the Excel sum product function. I'm going to take all the grades, comma, I'm going to simply highlight the weights, close the print. So what that's going to do is multiply cell B4 times C4, B5 times C5 all the way down, and then it's going to sum them up. And then I'm going to simply divide by the sum of the weights. And that will give you the weighted average. And so my weighted average score is 86. In case you're wondering, the average score, you don't want to use average, but I'm just showing you anyway, my average score is 81, so I always use weighted average in this example. If you're going to do this for work, one more time, it's going to be equal sum product, the cost of your items, comma, the units sold, close it, and you're going to divide by the units sold, the sum of them. So $1.89 is my weighted average cost for my products. Feel free to go to my website. You can download this file. I already have it set up when you go to my website. When you download it, it'll say Chris Menard Weighted Average. I already have these plugged in, the weighted average, and then I have the, the more difficult way to get this average in case you want to play with the numbers. Thank you.